Hey guys, uh, sorry I'm a bit sick, uh, but I hope my voice doesn't sound too bad on the uh, video. But anyway, today uh, is uh, the next video in the series of Japanese stereotypes and things that, and misconceptions and stuff that people come to Japan might have. Today we're going to be talking about anime, right? Uh, and if you're like me, you're, you're a fan of anime, right? I, I liked it, you know, it's one of the um, first things to really get you into Japanese culture, right? Kind of gets you interested in Japan and eventually leads to you coming here. You know, if not to live, then at least to travel, right? Um, but I wanted to cover this because, you know, it's been it's been covered in, in a lot of blogs and things like that. But I want to give my two cents on it and uh, give my own personal experience. Um, so basically, um, when you come here, you know, a lot of people have the misconception that, you know, the streets are lined with anime and that everybody reads manga and watches anime and everyone's into it. And, you know, the term of like otaku or geek is like a term of pride or something, right? The way we use it in America, uh, at least amongst the uh, anime um, subculture, right? But that's just not the case, okay? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna burst your bubble and say everybody hates anime or something like that. I want to give you my honest opinion. Um, there were a lot, a lot of the anime that we were exposed to, at least if you're around my age group, where you're in your late twenties, you know, people in their late twenties, early thirties, mid twenties, whatever. You know, or even people, you know what, in uh, high school and stuff now, I guess. Um, anyway, they're, they're exposed to a lot of anime, a lot of older anime, right? By the time it comes to states, it, you know, it's been the ones that get popular, like Dragon Ball and things like that, right? Uh, Naruto and One Piece and all that stuff. And yeah, it's true, uh, you know, everybody knows Dragon Ball. Well, not everybody. I would say a lot of people around my age, at least, and older, would know Dragon Ball for sure. But it'll surprise you. It's kind of heart crushing, right? A lot of the kids... <laughs> They might not know, you know, Son Goku and stuff like that, you know, the l really little ones, right? Now, of course, it's what, Yokai Watch and stuff like that, little kids like that. Uh, you know, the Attack on Titan, right? I don't know, Kyojin anime. But anyway, um, you know, so uh, it's funny, I'll actually have experiences where I will talk to some friends and I will introduce them to some anime, like, oh, you don't know this? Like, what? <laughs> you know, uh, you know, Ghost in the Shell and stuff like that, Akira, you know, for God's sakes. You know, it's old. It's old stuff, right? They don't know it. Anyway, uh, so let's talk about this here. Now, I'm. it is big. Of course, it's a big industry here. You know, a lot of people, it's popular. And of course, there's big subcultures, right? Akihabara is like, you know, known. It's a big city, you know, in Tokyo. It's known for uh, just having, you know, anime everywhere. And so if you go there, yeah, you can indulge in your anime fantasies. And you actually see other foreigners and, and tourists and stuff come. And they'll specifically go there because it's famous. It's like an anime hotspot, right? and for technology and things like that. But the average person you're walking around, you know, you go to, a, a let's say, a, a junior high school student or a, a high school student or even a college student, you're going to ask them about anime and stuff. And yeah, a good number of them will be interested in it, in in watching some anime or reading, of course, manga and stuff. But I, I, I wouldn't say they're, they're fanatics. I, I really don't think so. You know, if anything, if you're coming here... Uh, as an anime fan and stuff, you, you might find yourself being a bigger fan than they are, you know, to be quite blunt. So it's it's just like, you know, animation and characters are things you'll find it in a lot of places, you know. Uh, they're Just as we use it in commercials and stuff like that, in America, well, you'll see it just more often. You, they love characters, the Yurukera, you know, like the little characters for that, that kind of promote, well, everything, everything from the prefecture to you know, special food, foods and stuff. Every prefecture has its own uh, character. And even the little cities, I was even surprised my city here has its character, you know, and, and it's just like, what? Characters everywhere. Characters galore, man. Um, so that's a big thing. And, and uh, let's give another example, the Koban, right? The little police box and stuff. It's so funny. It has a, especially in my area, it has a little, a little character. It has a cute little owl saluting you just, what? I can't imagine that in American prisons, like having a cute little character. Just, no, it's not going to happen, man. It's not, it's not that kind of vibe. <laughs> but, it, you know, so, the, yeah, there are a lot of characters, there's a lot of use of that. But, it does not mean that everybody's just so into anime, so into manga. That's just not the case. In fact, there is uh, a bit of a stereotype. Um, I don't want to say stereotype. Well, there is a stereotype and there's kind of a bad image placed upon that you know if you read manga and, and anime they're gonna say oh you're not otaku that you're all about that just like in the states the same if you're into animation anime reading a lot of comic books right they might label you as a nerd or a geek or whatever but the truth is right a lot of who doesn't watch some animated shows sometimes who doesn't read some comic books or whatever or enjoyed a cartoon from here you know from time to time who doesn't you know don't lie to me <laughs> right you know you have and uh even 
if you know I've seen some ex students and I'll see them and I'll say hey what are you reading comic book they don't want to show me the cover you know maybe I don't know they don't want me to know what manga they're into or whatever I'm not gonna judge them I don't care I watch comic books and stuff um, but anyway that that's that's a big thing so this is a big topic you know I don't want to make a super long video or just ramble on but <clears throat> uh, yeah just just know that it's not everybody okay in summation it's not like everyone's just an otaku everyone's just all into anime and everybody knows it and and don't be surprised if uh, you know a lot of the anime that they don't, right? They might be into different stuff and uh, reading other comic books. They might not be into the same stuff as you, right? Don't, you don't just assume that, oh my god, everyone's going to... This anime that I got into online or whatever, and, you know, and when I go there, all the Japanese people are going to know about it. No, yeah, probably not. <laughs> no. So just keep that in mind, um, you know, I, and I'll give you a little short story before I go. Uh, just like I've met uh, some people here in Japan, just a few, they were... Uh, this is very rare, but it's a very specific example that really matches this, what I'm talking about. Uh, you know, he was a fan, he's an, uh, not, not a very young guy, I guess, older than me. Um, you know, not old, but you know, older than me, right? He's not just like some high school student. He's this guy, uh, he was really into American, you know, wrestling, you know, WWE and stuff like that, right? You know, uh, he had that image, he, you know, he was talking to me about it, and I'm like, oh man, sorry, you know, I'm not, I'm not really into it. And he's like, where are you from? I'm from Texas. What? Oh, you know this Texas wrestler, this guy, right? He has a cowboy hat. It's hilarious. He's great. It's amazing. I'm, oh, no, I don't know. You know, it's like, what? But you're from Texas, America. Sorry, man. I, I you know, it felt bad to burst his bubble. But, and of course, you know, a lot of people do. There are There is a big fan base for WWE and, and wrestling and stuff in America. But it's not like everybody, right? You know, it's a subculture, right? Uh, and, you know, there's a lot of people that like it. But it doesn't mean everybody does. Same. It's the same thing like that, you know? I don't want to burst their bubble and just like, you know, I'm sure, you know, I go up to people, like, oh, you don't know this anime, what, you know, hey, it's kind of popular, it's like, what, you know about this, how do you know about it, it's more, they're more like, what, why would you know it, and I'm like, it's a good question, <laughs> but anyway, I just, I wanted to kind of cover that a little bit, so just know, keep an open mind and know that, you know, stereotypes, you know, they, they're around for a reason, right, maybe they are based on some kind of fact, but they get blown out of proportion, so just uh, keep, take that with a grain of salt, all right? Alright guys, so enjoy, don't catch a cold like me, and uh, you know, enjoy your anime and comic books and stuff, but get outside sometimes. Alright, see ya.